There's not a lot of people who realize this, I know I didn't, but British businessman and the majority owner of Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, Joe Lewis, is one of the richest people on the entire planet, the tune of over $6 billion. That's a big enough savings account to make him the 39th richest person alive, but that number might start going down now that he's been indicted by the United States for masterminding what they call a brazen insider trading scheme. Apparently, Joe took advantage of his act access to corporate boardrooms, provide inside information to his romantic partners, personal assistants, private pilots, and friends, all of whom were then able to make millions of dollars in the stock market. Despite the lofty heights that he's reached in life, Lewis grew up in humble surroundings in the East End of London and left school at just 15 to work at his family's cafe. As an adult, he began opening his own restaurants and helped launch the career of Robert Earl, the founder of Planet Hollywood. Eventually, he sold some of his businesses for 30 million pounds and moved to the Bahamas in 1979 as a tax exile. Joe has spent the majority of his life in the Bahamas ever since, mostly living off of his super yacht, the Aviva 3. Before I tell you more about that, first, I'll take you inside the 600 acre private resort that Joe developed in co owns on the islands, alongside his celeb friends, Tiger Woods, Ernie Els, and Justin Timberlake. Known as the Albany, this resort boasts a private beach, three swimming pools, and a number of exclusive restaurants. There's even a golf course designed by Els himself, who, of course, is a pro golfer. In fact, Albany plays host to Tiger Woods' annual Hero World Challenge on the PGA Tour. The course is over 7,400 yards large and includes a clubhouse with a grill room, as well as men and ladies locker rooms, golf shop, and a 18 seat media theater and a 400 yard driving range. As for the amenities, guests can stay in private villas, custom home rentals, or even live like Joe himself on a series of mega yachts docked within the resort, all of which boast 24 hour concierge service, including waiters, private chefs, and trip bookings. Of course, staying in paradise comes with a cost and the cheapest of all available rooms in the Albany is still over 2,000 pounds a night. If you do happen to have enough money burning a hole through your pocket to afford that, then you can join in on the fun by taking the kids to the Treasure Island themed water park and then later on show up at the adults only pool. Rounding things out the resort also offers a top of the line fitness suite including a salon, spa, shop, equestrian activities and tennis courts. Joe chooses to live aboard his one of a kind private yacht. Joe Lewis's 195 million pound super yacht is called the Aviva 3. It's over 223 feet long, and it can comfortably hold as many as 16 guests at once. It's also where Joe spends the majority of his time each year. Built in 2007, this German luxury boat is the 46th longest yacht in the world, and it took three years to complete. At the end of that process, Joe had himself a beast of a machine powered by an eco-friendly drive system that can reach a top speed of 20 knots. The vessel's unique hull design comes with an electric propulsion system, which uses less fuel than average. With Joe being the sports lover that he is, his ship also offers a full-size tennis court. And it's not just for tennis either. In a pinch, the nets can be taken down and the space can be transformed into a football pit. More than just an extravagant place to sleep, this yacht serves as Joe's office, no matter where he happens to be in the world. And it's also an excellent spot to entertain a few friends. Like the time he invited his Spurs football club on board in 2013 for a tour of the facility. At the time, captain of the club, Michael Dawson, told the son, what a really nice guy. And the yacht is unreal, but he's just a normal guy. You could chat to him about anything. He tunes into all the games, he loves it. We just sat there chatting. He made us feel so welcome over there. It was relaxed, a lot of team bonding together. The Aviva 3 also offers exterior relaxation features like a circular set of lounging pads on the sun deck, as well as a smaller selection towards the yacht's bridge. There's even a cool swimming platform pins up to the sea, as well as an extra speedboat and jet skis on board as well. Come to think of it, I'm starting to see why Joe never wants to leave this place, not even to visit his home away from home in Orlando. When it comes to living in Florida, most people usually want to buy themselves a home that's open, airy, and resort-like. But since Joe Lewis basically lives in a resort nine months out of every year, when he bought himself a home in the Sunshine State, it was a bit more unconventional. 
Taking inspiration from 19th century English architecture, he made himself a gorgeous home with a Georgian facade. Located in the Orlando Gulf community of Islesworth, Joe bought this six acre property in the 1980s and completed its construction in 1990. Later in 93, he purchased the golf club itself, which included 179 unsold residential lots. Over the years, the colony has expanded to over 300 homes and has been named the nation's top golf community by golf.com. As for his own abode, Joe's 17,000 square foot estate with seven bedrooms and more than 10 bathrooms sits on a private peninsula that offers gorgeous views of Lake Bessie. Once you pass through the home's large security gate, you'll find yourself on a private driveway surrounded by lush greenery on all sides. Inside the entry foyer features a sweeping mahogany staircase alongside a marble floor that was inspired by Kettleston Hall, a manor house belonging to English aristocrats in Derbyshire, England. And as you continue to move through the mansion, you'll find rare statues and an impressive collection of art. There are also ceiling moldings, details reclaimed from 19th century English homes, as well as a fireplace originally built in 1850 that was rescued from a British estate. The whole house is basically fit for a king, thanks to ornate details like the bright colored furniture that balances out the ritzy living room adds a modern touch. Then there's the study that features wood paneling everywhere you look and a hidden bar concealed by a piece of art hanging just above fireplace. As for the main bedroom, its highlight is that Joe once purchased a piece of Tiffany glass during an auction of singer Elton John's belongings in 1988. This piece was then custom fitted and inserted into Joe's boudoir. Rounding out the estate is a movie theater, gym and spa, as well as a large stone patio with a pool accompanied by a detached guest house. Having spent so much time growing up in London, I can see why Joe might have wanted to take a bit of home along with him when he moved to the United States in the 90s. But now that he's living most of the year on the Aviva 3, he's looking to offload this property. In 2020, he listed the estate for just under $15 million, but at the time of this video, he's yet to find a buyer. Something tells me that with all of his recent legal issues, Joe Lewis is gonna be even more motivated to sell this huge estate, pay those lawyer fees. Anyways, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. Thank you guys so much for watching. And before you head out, consider answering the following question. How many months out of every year would you be willing to live on a super yacht? Let me know if like Joe, you would spend as much time on one of those beauties as you could. Also like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss a video. My name's Kara. If you like this look into the private life of one of the world's most rich and famous, then stay tuned, cause I'm gonna take you inside the homes of Joe's friend, Tiger Woods. I'll see you next time, bye. Tiger Woods' talent on the golf course has been undeniable since he first broke onto the scene in the late 90s, and along with his success also came investments in some lavish real estate. Over the course of his career, he's owned multi-million dollar properties in California, Florida, the Bahamas, and more. At one point, it was even rumored that Woods owned a custom-built home on a 62-acre private island in Sweden, but that has been proven false. His current home these days is a stunning estate located in Jupiter Island, Florida, worth a whopping $54 million. The original mansion was torn down at the time of purchase and replaced with an estate spanning nearly 10,000 square feet with additional structures, a golf studio, a boathouse for his massive yacht, and even features like an oxygen therapy room. Back in 2006, the same year he ruled the PGA Championship and the Open Championship, Tiger Woods and his ex-wife Ellen Nordegren acquired a 12-acre property in Florida, which came with a 9 9,000 square foot mansion. This former couple decided to tear this down and start completely fresh, completing this stunning custom home in 2010. Unfortunately, just after Tiger and Ellen would divorce due to his cheating scandal. The entire estate would cost Woods a total of $54 million, and after the rebuild, it was divided into two distinct parts. 
Part one boasting 3,300 square feet of living space inside, while part two is said to be a 6,400 square foot multi-purpose building. After Woods would be in an awful car crash that gave him brutal injuries, he would use his new mega mansion to recover and recuperate. He had shared after the incident that at first he was finding it difficult to navigate around his massive mansion. He jokingly said, I built a really nice house, but I didn't realize how big it was until you start putting crutches on. I'm on the better side of it, but still have a long way to go. Well, I think a house that massive might be hard for anyone to get around in. His mansion is situated on Jupiter Island, which is home to just under 900 people and one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in Florida. Just down the street from his property is Tiger's restaurant called The Woods, which is described as a legendary sports bar experience. The two sprawling structures that make up Tiger's approximately 9,700 square foot mansion are connected by a glass covered walkway. While elsewhere on the multi-building property, you'll find a spacious guest house, a garage, and a boathouse. In the smaller building, which is still almost 4,000 square feet, there are stylish living areas as well as common rooms, such as the chef's kitchen, and elsewhere a basement recreation room. This building also holds three bedroom suites in addition to Wood's own master bedroom. The dad of two Woods can also relax in his very own oxygen therapy room, or choose to unwind in the home movie theater. Also in the multi-purpose building, there's a home gym that would put, also in the multi-purpose building, there's a home gym that would put most fully equipped fitness centers to shame, as well as a wine cellar, media room, elevator, and more. As you might expect, Tiger has a purpose-built golf practice facility on his property too. He has a four-hole golf course complete with six bunkers that he can either play normally or take aim at from his second-story swing studio. Outside on the multi-acre property, Tiger has a tennis court slash basketball court combo, a massive 100-foot swimming pool, a spa, and his boathouse, which is low located near the two private docks where he keeps his 47 meter yacht. Of course, Tiger has lived in some other properties over the span of his life and career. His first big purchase was also the start of his real estate portfolio in Florida when he paid an undisclosed amount for an 8,000 square foot Spanish style home in the exclusive Isleworth community in Windermere, Florida. Tiger scored this property just as his star was on the rise. And a big draw for him was the privacy of the Isleworth neighborhood, which was fully gated. The community also had a no autograph policy, so we didn't have to worry about that or taking photos with anyone either. Woods lived at this house alone and then with his ex Ellen after they got married in 2004 and until their divorce in 2010. The home is also now known as the site of Woods' infamous 2009 car crash, shortly after reports of his infidelity surfaced. Woods later sold the two story waterfront home to fellow golf pro Abubba Watson for $2.2 million in 2013. This house was a two-story home boasting seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms throughout. Walking in, there's a large open foyer which leads to one of the open plan living areas. This one boasting a contemporary beach style and a seating area with brown leather furnishings. There are soaring ceilings throughout much of these common rooms. And across from this space, there's a dining room with seats for eight. The main living area is more casual and boasts an open floor plan that combines the kitchen and the family room with fireplace and wall of windows with wooden floors and ceilings throughout. Next to the family room was the gourmet kitchen, which was well lit with modern appliances and traditional cream cabinets to contrast against all the wood. While across the room, there was a breakfast nook. Other highlights in Tiger's former home included a games room with wet bar and a home theater. Out on the grounds, there was a simple mid-sized pool and spa along with views of the lake and even a private lakeside dock with wooden ceiling and walkway. Elsewhere, there was a guest house too. Of course, Tiger Woods owned a handful of other properties over the course of his career too. In 2004, he stayed close to his California roots with the purchase of a $3 million Mediterranean style condo in Newport Beach. The two-story home measured around 2,000 square feet and featured three bedrooms with views of the ocean and Catalina Island from almost every room. He listed this place at a loss in 2012 for $2.49 million, but it's unclear when or whether the property actually sold. Also in 2004 is when Woods bought his impressive $20 million, 155 foot yacht. His yacht that he named Privacy boasts three levels, including an observation deck with five bedrooms that can easily sleep up to 10 guests 
and separate living quarters for the crew. Among the yacht's many amenities are a jacuzzi, a gym, wet bar, and a decompression chamber for scuba diving. Wood still owns the yacht and has been known to sleep aboard it before major championships. Woods also looks out for his family, especially his parents, purchasing his mother two adjacent lots in Jupiter, Florida with plans to build on the land, while he also went in on another home in Windermere, Florida with his father. In 2010, Woods decided to spread his real estate investments over to the Bahamas when he helped to fund the construction of an ultra-exclusive resort here, alongside other celebrity investors such as Justin Timberlake and more. The luxury resort community is known as Albany, and is set on 600 acres on the island New Providence with nine marina front condo buildings, each boasting a different architectural style. Amenities include a golf course, several swimming pools, an equestrian center, a water sports center, tennis courts, and a 15,000 square foot fitness center with yoga and Pilates studios. After looking at where Tiger Woods calls home, that will bring today's house tour to a close. But before we go, answer this question for me. If you had a multi-purpose building on your property, what amenities would it need to have? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat.